I was thinking today about Mean Girls. So I owned salons for almost, I think it was like 17 or 18 years, a long time. I, I owned and ran salons from the time I was about 26 years old until the time I was about 45 years old. And I observed something that would happen a lot of times. The most beautiful girl in the salon, usually, if she was the whole package, if she was beautiful, if she was endearing and she could relate to people, she had a big clientele, great husband, you know, like if the perceived thing for that age was that she had it going on, she would get picked on and put down and kind of like people would just kind of talk shit and it just all boiled down to jealousy. It's very hard to explain that. I saw it go on to these, you know, girls and then women as the years pass by. And I'm gonna turn this just a little. Because my kid is taking on fruit. I think it's very interesting as women that we, some women, would want to drag somebody down. Like, why? Why do you have to do that? Why do you have to rain on someone's parade? Um, someone who's trying and someone who's, you know, we all aspire to be. It's almost like looking through a magazine and then like picking on the model because she looks good. So, that's great. That's great, Lincoln. We're just gonna throw all the fruit on the ground. Hmm? Is that what you're gonna do? So it even happens now. Um, I'm only f four years from 50, but it still happens. And I saw it happen today with a friend of mine who had some other women tell her like that her ideas weren't good and they weren't seeing. And I think at a certain point in your life, you just have to get to the point. Here, let me move you over here and you can play with the fennel. There. This should be very entertaining. And we don't know what the hell else to do with fennel, so that'll be perfect. Do do do. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> Am I killing you? Am I killing you with the fennel? Anyway, it kind of gets to the point where it's like, <clears throat> You just have to accept the fact that some people aren't in a great place. Maybe they feel unhappy in their marriage. Maybe they feel unhappy in their marital status. Maybe they feel, un, you know, whatever that their beef is with themselves, that that kind of grump that they have in their life, they'll sometimes transfer over to other people and pick on other people. Um, I have a girlfriend right now who's, I think she's 46. She is amazingly in shape and she's getting ready to do a fitness competition and she probably will win she usually does and she's working her ass off i'm super proud of her i'm very inspired by her but it would be somebody like that that people would be like why does she want to do that at her age that's so weird like people like that like why do you have to be like that why don't you just admire it and lift it up and use that as your inspiration and um embrace it and I think the only reason that I can think of that people would do that is because they're jealous, because their life isn't going like that, or they're not accomplishing that, or whatever the deal is. So I think it's, it's interesting to watch people, and it's very interesting for me because I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I don't want to get in that position again where I'm jealous of what someone else has got going on in their life because I'm in such a shitty place in my life, because I've been there before. Um, and I don't want to be there again. I want to be happy with what I've got going on in my life and able to be positive and lifting people up for their accomplishments. I'm not about to be in a fitness competition. I haven't been doing three a day workouts. I haven't been like fasting cardio or whatever, all this stuff that she's doing. But I think it's pretty badass that she is. And I think it's awesome. I'm going to her show. I'm going to cheer her on. I'm going to do her hair. And that's who I want to be. I want to be a cheerleader for other people. I want to be a positive person for other people. I want to make them feel like what they're doing is amazing. And I want other people around me like that to think what I'm doing is amazing. Because what I am doing is pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh. Say hi, baby. Bye, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, we better go get a nap. Time for a nap.